Welcome back in the Gourmet Gambit with today's recipe Veal and Prawn Marengo One of Napoleon's preferred recipe made by his chef Duran and named after the Battle of Marengo in Italy Although the original recipe was with chicken and crayfish this recipe with veal became more and more popular in the last century I'm Wes, let's get started We're going to cut our veal in nice chunks about this size I'm just going to salt it and we're going to coat the veal with some flour Put some butter in your frying pan, medium heat and we're going to fry our veal lightly brown Deglaze the frying pan with a glass of white wine The celery preserve the big parts of the stock and the rest into the pot with two crushed garlics and some of that beautiful fresh thyme, it smells very good and also a few bay leaves put your veal on top the white wine from your frying pan a good pepper mill good pinch of salt tomatoes add a cup of water we're also going to add some shallots just cut them in half with the skin and a little bit of olive oil bring to the boiling point once at the boiling point lower the heat to the minimum put the lid on and let it simmer low and slow for one hour we're going to prepare the prawns take off the heads keep them aside then we're going to peel them goes very easy and we're going to keep the last little bit of the tail take a knife and give it just a little cut just halfway I'm going to show you again take off the head take off skin then cut halfway so once they're all done you're just going to rinse them on the cold water These prawn heads are full of flavours So I'm going to show you how we're going to get all these flavours out To use them for our veal marengo as well Pour some olive oil in your pan Maximum heat Add the prawn heads Fry them for a few minutes And then we're going to add the rest of our white wine to the glaze lower the heat and let it boil for a few minutes crush them a little bit to get all these juices out and then kill the heat so here we are in one hour cooking time we're going to pour the juices from the brown heads give it a little stir we're going to let it simmer another half an hour After half an hour we're going to separate the vegetables from the meat And we're going to use a food mill to get all the juices out And it's going to filter at the same time Our gravy, our veggies in the food mill I'm just going to get all the best of it out of there The garlic cloves We're going to start to crush them Add the uh, anchovy fillets These are anchovies and olive oil And we're going to make a paste out of it Add the chopped celery stalks to the gravy As well as the baby carrots We're going to get our gravy back to the boiling point Once at the boiling point Lower the heat on the minimum, put on the lid and let simmer for 20 minutes After 20 minutes we're going to put our anchovy and garlic paste in there A 
twee bosponnen of honey, een glas of cognac, de sun dried tomatoes. We're going to put our meat back in. And we're going to put our prawns on top. Put the lid back on and we're going to let it simmer for the last 10 to 15 minutes and our veal and prawn morango is ready. Veal and prawn marengo. This must have made Napoleon very happy on the battlefield. And so, my dear gourmet friends, all beautiful things comes to an end. So all that's left to say for me, bon appetit, see you back soon.